Another visitor? You must be here to join in the plunder of the old Jedi Enclave. You have to see Administrator Adari first. She's inside Kunda. She was the Agricultural Administrator of Dantooine. After the Sith attack, she kept us together. Without her, the only thing you'd see around here are mercenaries. Have you ever sliced a Jedi security door? The old ruins are secure from salvagers unless they get permission from Adare. Just head into the building and you'll find your way to the administrator. I'll be over by the entrance if you need anything else. What is it?
I hear you. Time for a Jedi. I've got to tell the others. Ah, leave me be, Jedi. I think Tarn has finally cracked, running around like a madman, raving that he was being chased by a Jedi. Oh, Tarn is an idiot, to be sure. But he seemed genuinely frightened, and perhaps he did see something. Do you actually believe a Jedi would return here? After all they've done to us? They wouldn't dare. They certainly would. You remember how they were. Always so superior, so arrogant, and never lending a hand when we really needed them. I still don't believe it. You should. My cousin's friend, he used to tend the gardens around the Enclave. He swears he saw a Jedi in Kunda. Could be hiding anywhere. Well, I hope it's true. I hear there's a bounty on them, and we could certainly use the money. Unless somebody beats you to it. Oops. 
Your luck is not of the hapless settler. You are the newcomer that lands in a battered ship, yes? No friendly greetings are here for you. You act like I have insulted your man. Your ship I haven't seen. But if it takes after you, it can't be in perfect condition. I am done being inconvenienced by you. Ah, you have called me. Have I not told you that I don't like interruptions? Now, this is a disruption that is most welcomed. This news bears some thought. You have done well. This time, do not interrupt me again. Preparations need to be made. Another was not expected so soon. Are you waiting for the administrator too? You won't have to wait too long. But if you want results, now that you may never get here. Kunda's like a droid without his power cell. Useless. We have problems all over, and the most you can get out of the administrator is a pat in the back. I'm sick of all their excuses and empty words. I need justice now. I fought in the war, and I know how to use my blaster rifle. If the administrator or Zeron doesn't do something, then I will. What am I supposed to do? Salvagers keep trespassing on my land and stealing my farming equipment. They grab anything they can get a hold of. I'm not a violent man. I've had my share of it in the war. I sincerely hoped I could just hang my blaster rifle on the wall as a souvenir for my grandchildren. But I can't farm without my equipment. Well, yes and no. I brought my moisture vaporator to Kunda to be serviced. On the way back to my farm, I took a shortcut next to the Enclave ruins. Damn legricks came out of nowhere. I had to run before they made a meal of me. When I returned to retrieve my equipment, the salvagers had already stripped it bare. A lot of farming equipment. It's not even valuable, just important for the moisture vaporators and hydro processors. The thief must be desperate for credits. I suppose you could. Actually, you almost look like a salvager. If you could go to this salvager camp and convince the salvager Joran to return my modulator, I would be very grateful. I'm not rich, but I have some souvenirs from the war I could give you. That's great. I'm certainly not getting any help around here. If you need to know anything more, just ask me. A visitor, please come in. Welcome to Kunda. I am Administrator Turina Adare. You're the owner of the um, ship that just landed. Depending on your business here, the pleasure may be mutual, but you didn't answer my question. Is that ship yours? And unless I'm much mistaken, that's the Ebon Hawk 
That vessel has been on Dantooine before, during the war. That was a Jedi vessel. Of course not. I'm trying to stabilize an entire planet. An exchange bounty, no matter how abundant, is little use in that endeavor. But if a Jedi were here, that would best be kept secret. Right or wrong, our settlers blame the Jedi and their hidden enclave for their suffering. I remember the old Jedi Masters and the considerable help they lent to Dantooine. I still maintain discreet connections with Jedi. I suppose your arrival here is no coincidence. My friend, let's just call him Frook. We've known each other for many years, and our continued friendship could create many problems in the current political climate. He came to Dantooine not too long ago. He was looking into something quite important. He's gone missing recently. Did he send for you in case something went wrong? Vrook and I had a mutually beneficial arrangement for several weeks. He went to the Jedi Enclave sublevel recently and hasn't returned. I know the sublevel is dangerous. I'm starting to fear the worst. Would you be willing to go to the ruins of the Enclave to look for him? We are fortunate that you've come. Don't expect it to be easy, though. Things rarely are with Jedi. I will have one of the militia transmit permissions to the Enclave's security door. Go expecting danger, for you will most certainly find it there. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Salvager, or one of those Kunda Cantina rats coming here to complain? Oh, a 
is that so? You're no mercenary, and with those armaments, this isn't a social call. You're at least thinking of heading to the ruins. I'm gonna give you some advice. Turn back. There's nothing you're gonna find. Don't tell me that flaming Solru sent you. I went over all this with Zeron. We've been hit by the flaming thief more than he has. Every other night it seems we find something missing. And it's not like we have much. We keep asking Zeron to help us, but he sends us nobody. So the thief keeps coming from the ruins or whatever hole he lives in and taking what's ours. If we ever catch him, we'll take our time killing him. That's our best guess. Sneaky as sin, but Raylon caught a glance of him that way. We keep hoping the Legrex finish the thief off, but that would be far too easy for us. If you haven't met Raylon, though, he's not... reliable. He's in the camp if you want to talk to him about the thief. If you must. If you can do something about the thief, do it and get out of here. There's nothing for you here anyway. I've been here the longest. And I'll be here last. I buy Jedi salvage from the ruins. Slow business now, but I get by. Sometimes I sell them to visitors like yourself. Besides, that's none of your flaming business. You should have let me know you're a customer instead of letting me think you're some disease-ridden salvager. Let me show you what I've got. succeed in gathering the Jedi, they will come to this place. And if those Jedi are slain, then all that remains of the Order shall be drawn here as well. We will know when the time comes, and I hope our enemies do not.
Missing. We're one off. We're missing Joran. I don't see Joran. That runt of a cath hound, he's the one with the backpack. Did anybody grab anything from the room? Anybody? What do you want? I managed to get this sad lot of salvagers to work together. Then we get two rooms into the sub level, and we get swarmed by Lagrex. And even then we fight our way out. But of course, the only one that managed to grab the salvage is still in there. I don't even know why I bothered. I'm not going to tell you that. If you do rescue him, you'll just have to claim on the salvage. Jedi artifacts are rare enough these days without some newcomer coming in. So stay out of it, and we won't have a problem. Are you kidding? Of course we aren't. He's on his own. I only wish he didn't have the salvage on him. Now, if you don't mind, we're going someplace you can't eavesdrop on us, and get down to our business. No one crossed. 
crosses me. <laughs> Someone out there? Anybody? Help! Legrix are everywhere! Help me! I'm trapped in here! Yes, yeah, yes I am. I locked the door in here. I thought I was gonna be Legrex compost. Did you take care of them, stranger? Please, take care of them. I can't stand much more of this. If you do manage to clear a path, please come back. Oh, <laughs> 
Yes. Fallen. I am an historian and scientist working for the Republic, although I'm certain my contemporaries would judge me more a historian than scientist. Like you, I was looking for some trace of the Jedi. I had heard mention that one of the Jedi Masters had gone there, but I found no trace of them. No. It is something of a mystery why they would exile themselves as they have. It is not the way of the Jedi to vanish in such a way. Especially when the Republic is in need of them. I fear that there is something else at work. Something that we cannot see. Then again, perhaps the Jedi are hiding simply because so many people hate them these days. It is difficult sometimes for the Jedi to see such things, since much of it is rooted in human nature, and the Jedi are often removed from events of daily life, insulated. But the reason the Jedi Civil War was named such was because few in the galaxy can recognize the difference between the Sith and the Jedi. To them, they are both Jedi, with different philosophies. Hate? No. I do not hate them. They only raise questions without answers. Jedi are not supposed to be like the rest of us. They are supposed to see a higher purpose in all things, and... They are supposed to train students responsibly and well, so mistakes of the past are not repeated. Yet all I saw was ignorance and arrogance, and what those seeds created in the Republic. It is difficult to follow the Jedi Code when so few others have, but you know this. Many Jedi defy the Order during the Mandalorian Wars, and it paved the way for the Jedi Civil War. There is no blame. All must accept. But, at its core, one must wonder if it was the failure of the Jedi teachings or the teachers themselves. Many of the Jedi Council trained Exar Kun, Ulik, Revan, and Malak. 
How could they not see the danger they posed? And if they could not, perhaps there was some essential part of their teachings that was flawed. Something beyond the Jedi Code that they were missing. I am not certain you understand what happened with Revan. Do you wish me to explain? Revan was captured in the middle of the Jedi Civil War, due in no small part to his apprentice Malak, who turned on him. Revan was brought before the Jedi Council and put on trial. You must understand that the situation was desperate, and the Jedi needed to know how Revan had amassed the forces arrayed against them. As I understand it, they were able to convince Revan to have a change of heart. Revan helped the Republic defeat Malak. Perhaps in his conversation with the Jedi Masters, they were able to convince him of the rightness of their actions. Revan had many Masters. Zar, Dorak, Master K before K left for the wars. Towards the end of his training, he sought out many to learn techniques. It is said that he returned to his first Master at the end of his training in order to learn how he might best leave the Order. I am not certain you are. Before you go, I had a question for you. You came to Dantooine in search of Jedi. Why? If the Sith are rising in the galaxy again, then it is strange the Jedi would not be there to meet them, and that we have not seen more evidence of the Sith. No, I believe you. I merely find such subtleties among the Sith to be strange. They have been known to practice deception, but in the histories, since the time of the Dark Lords Kuhn and Keldroma, and Revan and Malak, such subtleties have been rare. In any case, it seems to me like our goals are compatible. If you would have me, I can apply my knowledge and skills to helping you find the answers you seek. Something you need of me? There is something I have observed, and now I feel I must say it. I have found your presence to be inspiring. With your growth in the Force, you seem to have found your center, and throughout the dangers we face, you remain calm and focused. I understand now why others followed you to war. Perhaps that is what leadership is, and it is something I have seen in only a few during my travels. In any event, it has been some time since I traveled with a Jedi, nor one so firmly upon the path. I wanted to thank you. I fear the stories that were spoken of you have misrepresented you. And if I have the opportunity, I shall reverse them whenever they arise. Very well. Then I shall keep my favorable opinions to myself. That is hardly surprising. What do you wish to know? Forgive me, but there is something I must ask. In my study of the Jedi histories and the more... contemporary records, I have heard tales of a Jedi who was exiled. You are that Jedi, but the records are somewhat evasive on why this was done. I wanted to discuss why you chose to leave the Jedi Order and accept exile. I see. And because you went to war, they cast you out? Do you have a record of this trial? Perhaps I shall examine it when I get the chance, with your permission. I appreciate your trust. Thank you. I have studied the hollow record of your trial. I am unsure what to make of it. I must confess that I was searching for some meaning beyond the records. 
a reason for why one would leave the Order. Did you know that exile is a rare sentence? It is not really something that the Order can enforce. Believe it or not, it was really your choice. I do not know. That is a question best answered by yourself. But it is you who made the choice to turn away, not them. I am not certain I do either, but it is something worth considering. You are correct. I am afraid I have not been entirely open with you concerning my past. If I look familiar, it is because we have met before, at the Enclave on Dantooine, many years ago. As on Coruscant, Force-sensitive children are taken to Dantooine as well, though it is done rarely and only with those they believe are destined to become Jedi Knights. It is the secret nature of the place. If you are not chosen by a master when you have come of age, however, then the path of the Jedi is denied to you. I met you on Dantooine, long ago, briefly. You taught us the ways of combat, how to hear music within the movements of a lightsaber blade. It is difficult to explain the difference between you and Master Vruk, but I think it is because he was knowledgeable, but not a leader, not a mentor. You were different. We could all feel it. And I knew that if I were to have a master, I would want it to be you. And then you went to war. Many Jedi went to war, and the Jedi Masters proclaimed that you were Jedi no longer. Atris, the mistress of the Archives, was first among them. I knew at that moment that if you would no longer be a Jedi, then you must be correct. I realized I did not want to be a Jedi. Instead, I wished to follow your path. And in any event, there was no one to train me, even if I wished it. They all went to war as I grew past the age of acceptance. It is possible to forget the Force, you know. If you have not felt it strongly enough, then there is little to miss. I never felt the Force as strongly as I did when I was with you. And so I decided to serve the Republic, study the Jedi teachings, gather them perhaps. It was important to me to understand the Jedi now that they were gone. I felt some part of you should be preserved, so that your lessons would not be lost. Perhaps. I still harbor doubts about the path I walked. It is not time, if there ever is a time. I am on a diplomatic mission. I am one of several tasked with attempting to contact any remaining Jedi and convince them to return to the Republic. I know something of the Jedi. I have studied them for a good portion of my life, and now that they are gone, such studies are even more important. I do not think it is a matter of luck or chance, only my own inability to find them. While the Enclave trained me for many things, I am afraid that the life of a bounty hunter was not among them. I suspect my turning away from the Force is also a hindrance in such cases. I imagine the Jedi would be easier to find if I still maintained my connections to the Force. No. It is something of a mystery why they would exile themselves as they have. It is not the way of the Jedi to vanish in such a way, especially when the Republic is in need of them. I fear that there is something else at work, something that we cannot see. Then again, perhaps the Jedi are hiding simply because so many people hate them these days. It is difficult sometimes for the Jedi to see such things, since much of it is rooted in human nature, and the Jedi are often removed from events of daily life, insulated. But the reason the Jedi Civil War was named such was because few in the galaxy can recognize the difference between the Sith and the Jedi. To them, they are both Jedi, with different philosophies. Yes, is some that is hardly surprising. 
It is not. That is.
Yes. Ask.
Ever this battle is won! <laughs> It is open. I am ready. Braved the perils of the sublevel, yeah. For now, not only do I get rich salvage, but an even richer bounty. Do not be making this difficult. Your death can be quite painless. Negotiations are not possible. A deal has been made with anxious people. People you do not cross. And now, Jedi, we shall fight. <laughs> Yes, is some... Sort of jam the door a bit. Just don't leave. Thanks for saving me. I thought those leg wrecks had me for sure. It's all Tapale's fault. She said the entryway to the sub level was safe enough. This area has hardly been explored. We barely got in here. And then everybody started going left and right, grabbing anything they could. It was every man for himself, and nobody was watching for leg wrecks. Then, before you know it, we were under attack by those beasts. So salvagers were running every which way. 
and they left me to die. You don't have to tell me that twice. If you want to talk to me, I'll be by the salvagers' camp. I'm leaving before the Lagrex come back. give to the Jedi in exchange for service. They were just giving. You're one of them. Just another stinking salvager and thief, stealing what belongs to Jedi. I'm a Padawan, and one day, one day I will learn enough to be a Jedi. What do you mean? I've always been trained to be a Jedi. You sound like my other master. He's gone too. He said terrible things. All dead. All of them. Blown apart by the Sith. Tortured by the Sith. Just dead by the Sith. Only KV is left. Just me. You were? I, I had no idea. You aren't anymore? Are there any Jedi left? They are like me. I thought it was alone. Are there any masters? But what should I do? I just don't know what I should do. There was just no one else to talk to. It's been so hard. But just knowing I'm not alone. 
there are others like me. It may be enough. I... I know that that was wrong. I'll stop. I was just trying to get enough credits to eat. But I'll... think of something else. Something that doesn't hurt anyone. I found some things. I don't know how to use them. Here, you can have them. I had a holocron, but it said terrible things. I threw it far away. It told me the Jedi were no more, that I needed to survive and do anything to protect my home. The holocron was more forceful the longer I learned. It frightened me. I threw it into the ruins. I, I went back to find it, but the salvager stole it. It was my only teacher. I... I don't know. I'll try to find a master to teach me. There have to be some left. I'm not going to use the force until I find one. So much has gone wrong. Should I feel bad that I feel better? But I still need to find a master. The lessons I learned... I think I need to unlearn them. And also with you. Thank you.